Hey guys, welcome back to Pro Gun. A lot of my followers have asked me, is a 1911 a good gun? Is it reliable? Um, should I get one? So I decided to do this video and give you the pros and cons and explain uh, the differences. Um, and hopefully with that information, you'll be able to make your own decision. Um, all these firearms are unloaded. There's no magazines in them. All right, so let's start off. Why is the 1911 such a great gun? Well, it, it's just a classic. Uh, this firearm has won two world wars. Um, it's protected more American citizens than any other pistol in the world. It's probably the most copied pistol. Um, everybody and their brother now makes a 1911. Um, accuracy, the 1911 is the most accurate pistol on the market. Uh, and we'll start off with the trigger. Because the 1911 is single action, um, it's got a very short, crisp, very light trigger pull. And that allows you to get off more rounds more quickly. Um, go with the safeties. <clears throat> you have this thumb safety up here. You also have a safety in the back, so you have to actually press and pull the trigger for it to fire. Now, the 1911 is designed to have one in the chamber and the hammer cocked back. And that's how you're supposed to carry a 1911. Now, a lot of people freak out that you're walking around with a gun uh, cocked. and uh, You know what? There's a physical safety, okay? Actually, two. So, in order for it to go boom... You have to take this one off and you have to squeeze it, right? And I don't know why people complain and freak out because you have a Glock. There's no physical safety whatsoever. You just pull the trigger and bang. So actually the 1911 is safer. Uh, accuracy, again, like I said, it is the most accurate pistol on the market. Uh, ergonomics, nothing feels more comfortable than a uh, 1911. It's just... It fits your hand like a glove, and the nice thing about it is whether you have small or large hands, it fits perfectly. Uh, customization. Uh, you can take parts from any 1911 and interchange them as long as it's the same caliber. Uh, for instance, uh, you, know, you can take this Colt government model 1911, and you can take uh, any other manufacturers, government model 1911, the magazines, and all the other accessories will work. They also come in different calibers, right? 45 ACP. This 1911 is 10 millimeter. This is a 22 caliber, actually. They also come in 38 super and 9 millimeter. So you have a wide uh, variety of choices as far as that goes. Same thing with barrel lengths. They come in... Uh, a full-size government model's got a five-inch barrel. They have a commander uh, that comes with a four and a quarter inch barrel. And then they have the officer's model that has a three and a half inch barrel. Um, a lot of people see a drawback to the 1911 because they're single stack and they usually only hold seven to eight rounds. As opposed to this Glock, holds 15 rounds, 10 millimeter. But... The way I look at it is, I would rather have eight good rounds downrange than 15 rounds that are sent poorly. Um, the, the 1911 is a precision firearm, which is why they cost more. Besides the fact that they're all metal as opposed to plastic. Um, but because the precision is so tight on these 1911s, uh, a lot of people complain and they say that the 1911 is unreliable and uh, there's a high failure rate. Um, it's usually not the problem of the gun. It's because the tolerances are so tight that there's no room for um, having goop and crap kicked on the inside of the barrel. And um, you know, you do need to use good ammunition and good magazines. Um, People don't clean their gun, they use crappy ammo, and they go and they buy $5 magazines and they blame the gun. Well, of course it's going to malfunction. 
Um, you know, the, the Glock doesn't require as much cleaning. Uh, if you own a 1911, whether you shoot one round out of it or a hundred rounds out of it when you go to the range, you better make sure when you bring it home you clean it. And it should always be um, clean and, and oiled and it'll serve you well. It'll last you a long time. Uh, another disadvantage that you know some people complain about is the weight. Um, but the weight is actually an advantage because um, it helps reduce recoil. This 45 ACP in 1911, you can easily shoot one-handed. You're not going to be able to do that with this 10 millimeter. Uh, it's a great firearm to own. It's very reliable. It's very accurate. Um, if you take care of it, uh, this is a firearm that you can, you know, pass down through your family for generations. Um, but it's not for everyone. If you're a, a new firearm owner. I, I wouldn't recommend going out and buying a 1911 for your first gun, but if you already own a firearm and you have experience shooting uh, and you are interested in buying a 1911, I highly recommend it. Um, the other thing you need to do is you need to make sure that if you're going to carry it, um, that you take it to the range often and practice. Uh, the main reason is that being that it's meant to be carried cocked and locked, as opposed to Glock, you put one in the chamber, and if you ever have to use it, you pull the trigger and go bang. Um, if you're not used to this and you don't remember, you know, there's nothing worse than having to pull out your firearm and, oops, you may not get a second chance. Um, I can't say enough good things about the 1911. Um, I can't tell you whether you should or shouldn't have one, but based on the information, um, you do have the pros and the cons. Um, I can't think of any reason why you wouldn't want one. Um, and the, the, the cons uh, are very minimal compared to the pros. Um, you know, and, and even, even the, the cons are just, they're not even legitimate reasons. They're just something to keep in mind that you know, some people feel more comfortable having, you know, 15 rounds other than eight. Well, if that's the issue, um, you know, get a mag carrier and carry a spare magazine. Um, I have a, a numerous collection of 1911s and uh, multiple barrel lengths, multiple calibers, uh, and I, I just love them. Matter of fact, uh, I used to carry this Glock 10 millimeter every day. Um, and it's very light, it's polymer. When I bought this uh, Colt government model, this is now my new carry gun. Um, but the 1911s are also much thinner. They have a much more slim design. So even though the barrel length is longer, it's still easier to conceal. I mean, this you put them side by side, this Glock 10 millimeters is a very, very bulky gun. You can conceal this very well. Um, like I said, you, you need to have a, a good holster and a good gun belt. Um, they come in uh, different finishes. You can get stainless steel. You can get blued. You can get parkerized. And there's a combination. You can get two-tone that's, you know, half parkerized and half stainless. Um, the amount of customization is endless. Um, and it's just a classic timepiece and like I said in my opinion nothing looks as cool as a 1911 um, so if you're thinking of purchasing one um, take these things into consideration make your decision um, either way you, you can't go wrong with them um, I hope this video helps thanks for watching